Well, hi, boys and girls. Another episode of A Jew in the Jungle. Yeah. So... What? Pages standby. Pages standby? Standby. The name of the page is standby. 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 Yes, standby. Okay. Well, these are our friends at standby. Yes. And they're going to be today starting work on a roof and an enclosure for the doggies. Yes. And uh, it's going to be a hot day. Temperatures are going to be in the 90s, the mid 90s. Very hot day. And uh, they're preparing the uh, the steel uh, angle bar. It looks like at this point, uh, we had to take one of the doggies out of the cage. They need uh, to work in that area. Uh, Tyrion is uh, still kind of pissed off. Uh, Arya is in the uh, kubu, uh, tied up. Um, it's the best we can do at this point. They love the Kubo anyway. Hi, honey. <laughs> that's honey. And that's Arya. Arya's in the Kubo. Arya, you in the Kubo? Yeah, you're in the Kubo. I know, I know. I know. We'll get you out of this soon. We'll get you out of this soon. And, uh, that's what it's going to look like uh, it's a Sunday morning. It's very early. Uh, just a little bit after 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, work has begun on uh, phase one. I'm going to call this phase one. Uh, we've decided to maybe put in some concrete flooring as well. So uh, rather than just the gravel, it's not that much more expensive. And this way, we have a uh, sturdy and clean surface, easy to clean, and uh, uh, cutting the steel angle bar and. Uh, over here, they're uh, painting, painting the angle bar. Hey, what you barking about, baby? Hey, come on. Stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, my God, you're fixing the hinges. Oh, look at this. He's fixing the hinges for that. Beautiful. Oh, very strong. Yeah. Oh my God, he replaced the hinges. He replaced new hinges on the dog cage, and uh, we never even asked him to do that. So, there you go. That's how it is down here. People just want to be helpful. That's amazing. It's amazing. We didn't even ask him to do that. And work continues here on the first morning. Okay. Hi, boys and girls. As you can see, what has arrived? Dishy number two, Starlink. Let's see if we can get this one up and running. Point it at the dish. Configuring the router, applying the settings, the uh, name of the dish, which is Dishy2, and uh, password. Okay, and connect. Dish is moving.
We're establishing a connection with the satellites. Connecting. I'll check on the progress of the uh, construction. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Wow. It's so hot. Oh yeah, 95 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. At least you got a breeze a little bit. Oh boy, look at these. These are the trusses, huh? A lot of work going into the trusses. All welded together. Beautiful. Very nice. Hey guys. What's up, bada people? They are not food. Yes. Not food. Hi. <laughs> Hi. No name construction. Just stand by. No name there. Just stand by. Just stand by. Just stand by. Ah, stand by construction. I got it. Stand by construction. All right. All right. And we'll give a link down below to find out how you can contact Standby Construction for your needs. Okay. Well, the time has come to remove the barracks that were in place for about two years where all the workers uh, lived, slept, and ate for all those weeks and weeks and months. The day has come. Disassemble the barracks, pole by pole, Roof. and Pete is tying Dishy up. Uh, hopefully it won't fall out. Uh, Let's see something here. Oh, is this going to... Oh, bye, Dishy. Bye, Dishy. <laughs> ah, hey, Foreman. <laughs> Foreman and Pete, what a team. What a team. Oh, my. Foreman, when you set it up, make it. Kate, make sure the little wire is in the front of the base. The wire coming out of the base is towards the front. Yeah. I thought it would be better towards the back, but no. The, the wire should be point. Maybe like this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of our workers uh, transporting gravel from the front <clears throat> by the street where it was dumped many months ago to the back where it will be used for cement. And another load of gravel headed towards the back for the cement platform for the dogs. And it looks like <clears throat> looks like the installation requires a piece of angle bar. So we are borrowing it from the construction in the back and uh, we'll repay that piece and uh, hoist this piece of angle bar up. Pete is going to the back to get some more, if he can find some. Now this is an amazing uh, scene, I'm telling you. Foreman's up on the roof, fabricating a mount out of uh, uh, five millimeter 
thick angle bar, cutting it with a uh, hand grinder uh, to exactly the size he needs for a base mount for Dishy. Turn this around, show you what he's got here. Cut a piece off of it. And Tyrion and Arya are in their cages because we have workmen out. And it uh, looks like we're going to be doing some cement flooring. Got the cement in, got some rebar, got some gravel. How's it going? Good? Yeah? Do we have enough gravel? Do we have enough gravel? We have gravel? Enough? Yeah? Enough? Yeah? Okay. This is the first step. Once we get a uh, floor in here, um, construction is continuing with the girders. Yes, these will be the course members. Plenty strong enough to hold a roof and solar panels when the time comes. And these are the trusses. Uh, 10 millimeter, I believe. So, yeah. Construction will start again tomorrow with these girders. Meanwhile, uh, with a little luck, maybe we'll have a foreign by then. Well, hi boys and girls. Welcome to the Jew in the Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to uh, see what's going on uh, towards the back of the uh, property where they're uh, constructing a, uh, a roof and uh, an enclosure and uh, currently putting in a cement floor uh, in that section. So let's take a look. Here we are today. Uh, we got the uh, metalworks people no name back on the job today and uh, we have the uh, uh, cement being mixed at the point it's got the gravel got the sand and uh, everything's been laid out in the grids rebar uh, it's going to be a, a strong floor um, without the rebar, it can crack very easily, substandard. It does cost more, but... And it will be sturdy and last. Good morning! Good morning, Pooh, sir. Mmm. All right. Well, in the Philippines, when you don't have a cement mixer, even a small one, you have to mix the, uh, the gravel, the sand, and the cement mix together manually, and uh, that's how it looks. Then they create a concrete pad on which uh, is a problem. They're all over the property, these concrete pads. The concrete work has started now in the corner. It's the place they're beginning. It's going to be a three inch concrete slab, but reinforced with the rebar. It's really not for cars, it's going to be for the dogs. I treat the dogs better than I treat people. <laughs> See what kind of work has been done. We've been in Naga City. Dropping off the old Starlink. Ah. Ah, how's it going? Fine. 
Fine? All right. Huh? Oh yeah, look. Okay, yeah. Got the rafter up there. That thing was heavy. How did you get it up there? We get two more men. Oh. To help her. Right. I was saying that that thing is heavy. Yeah. Very heavy. All right. Just a uh, shot of the kids playing with the sprinkler. There you go. Don't you wish you were eight and nine years old? There you go. Not a care in the world. Now walking around to the other side of the house. Uh, going to inspect the work of the guys so far today. It was a hot day, Jesus. 95 degrees. And it felt it. It felt like 105. <clears throat> so for some reason they did not get to finish. And uh, I don't think this is in the best practices part of the book. Well, hi boys and girls. Another episode of A Jew in the Jungle. Yeah, so we got uh, two crews, basically the cement crew, and we got the uh, roofing crew here today, once again. And uh, they had to go out and get some more cement. They were short a couple of bags, and then they figured out they were still short a couple of bags. So, two trips. Sounds like my adventures to Home Depot whenever I try to do anything. You never get away with going back once. Anyway, let's take a look. Oh, here's the doggies. Can't forget the doggies. Hi, Tyrion. Hi, Arya. Okay. So, no problem leaving that overnight. It wasn't finished yesterday. We, we couldn't finish it yesterday all, all together. Hmm? We couldn't finish it yesterday? No? Is this going to be okay? Yeah? Okay like that? Two? Still have the no-name crew. Stand by. Stand by crew. Stand by crew, no-name crew. They don't exist crew. But we will we will uh, let you know how you get a hold of them to uh, build your your structures. They do great work. Beautiful. How they got those uh, girders up there, I have no idea. They are absolutely heavy as hell. That's uh, the, the uh, angle bar. How thick is that angle bar? 0.5. Five, 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 five millimeter thick. And uh, there's quite a few of them. There, there's the cross, cross members and uh, there's a the top and bottom. Uh, they, weigh a, they weigh a ton. <laughs> and they will make it through any hurricane, tornado, typhoon, natural disaster that we can come up with. Oh yeah, earthquakes too. Don't forget the earthquakes, goddammit. Oops, sorry, I can't say goddammit on this channel. Uh, well, we're rejoining our work crews back here. See the progress. Finally got that center girder set up and in position, I think. It was a little bit too wide. They had to do some grinding to get it to fit. Oh. This 
is coming along. Look at all that steel. Hey. Looks like, <laughs> looks like the, uh, the floor. floor is almost done, huh? Yes, sir. Well, construction has ended uh, today. It's about uh, uh, almost 6 o'clock in the evening. Uh, both uh, crews, the concrete people and the uh, uh, standby metalworks people have left for the day. Uh, standby people will be back tomorrow. Uh, supposedly getting the roofing uh, so that should be exciting uh, let's see what they've done so far still have uh, another girder to uh, put up there and I'm sure they're not finished with the welding okay Nina, my wife, decided uh, to let you folks see what's going on behind our house and the property that's back here. Beautiful. And I was telling her that as long as you don't need internet, electric, or water, this is a perfect place to build yeah, a subdivision. Yeah, all green. All green, beautiful. And that's a, a cow pasture. Very, very large, flat, beautiful land for building on this too this is flat land. yeah one day this will all be houses and uh, as i was explaining to my lovely wife this whole uh right of way which actually goes up to the fence it's a it's a five meter or 15 foot believe it or not you got all this junk in the middle but this is a 15 foot right away this will all be cleared out one day and be a, a cement uh, pathway for cars or uh, motorcycles whatever they want but uh, I give it 10 15 years and that'll be it okay. place will be developed this is coming up on the house here and the doggies hello doggies they love it Ooh, shit. I'm gonna buy some different slip-on shoes this is what the uh, locals see when they walk by we just want to explain our home um, just to get the uh, feel for what they see and feel living next to us and this piece of land here as you can see we uh, bought after the fact uh, it made me an offer I could not refuse he said to me, it'd be a shame if somebody was to build a little house in front of your gate. Really? That's what happened. And so I had to buy this piece of land right here from the pole to that pole coming out to the right of way. Stretching all the way to the right of way. This whole piece of land here. Uh, 50,000 pesos. Approximately 70 uh, square meter um, that we got rooked into uh, buying it has to be cleaned up this whole thing is a mess and uh, I will not uh, sign anything as far as turnover goes until this is in the same condition as the uh, engineer found it because I'm not going to have my neighbor Roy who sold me the land you know, secretly hate my guts for doing this so 